Jen here of jenspringer.com and I want to talk today about the fascia blaster and also other forms of body work such as cupping or even deep tissue or rolfing that can cause major bruising. Now some bruising is absolutely normal. I mean you're going to be rough on an area to release adhesions and also to release um, you know, tension in the muscles besides, you know, the hypertonicity as well as having adhesions in there, you may get bruising. I mean, that's just normal. But if you get bruising where you look like you've been bludgeoned with a baseball bat or hit by a car, that may mean that you need some additional nutrient support to help your body have stronger blood vessels. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, one thing I want to say is, we're not talking about in this video if you have massive bruising, if you have an underlying health condition, or if you have um, blood thinners that you're taking. That's a different, you know, that you shouldn't be doing rough types of work if you are in blood thinners, anyways. But if there's an underlying condition that's going to prevent you from healing, like diabetes, or you have some circulatory disorder or massive varicose veins, that's not this video, okay? But if you have normal health and you're doing these types of things, you're blasting or you're getting body work and you're bruising like really bad, let's talk about some things that you can do that are very, very simple that can help the structure and integrity of your body. So you can have strong veins and strong um, little arteries. So. Okay, so the first thing, my favorite of all, is vitamin C. Vitamin C is an integral part of the, in, um, the blood vessels, the strength of the blood vessels and the elasticity. So vitamin C is easy to get. Of course, you've got vitamin C coming from citrus, but my favorite sources are cherries. You know, the dark tart cherries or the acerola cherries. Um, I also really love camu camu. I mean, there's many ways, you know, elderberries are full of vitamin C and zinc, you know, blueberries, raspberries, you know, the, all of those types of things are very high in vitamin C. But your body is going to use that much better than ascorbic acid, which is the synthetic form of vitamin C. You just go get some vitamin C from the health food store. And if it's ascorbic acid, your body can only absorb so much at a time. So you should only take about 500 millime uh, millimeters, <laughs> milligrams at a time. Uh, if you take, you know, 1,000, 2,000, or 3, it won't absorb. And it probably will give you some, you know, bowel blowouts. You know, it'll give you diarrhea or maybe some gas and cramping. So that's one thing. Another form of vitamin C that's been very beneficial for many people is called liposomal vitamin C. And liposomal vitamin C can be applied topically over the area that is bruised. And of course, you can take it internally. So get your fruits, your cherries, your berries, your, um, your camu, whatever. And then also you may think about some liposomal vitamin C internally and topically over areas that you are experiencing, you know, the, the full extent of a lot of bruising. Um, in, I'm going to say this thing, um, vitamin C that's in the liposomal form is, is kind of expensive. So just so that you know that. I do like to take acerola cherry tablets. I get the powder and the tablets. The tablets um, is made by a company called Young Living and I use, um, it's called Super C and they're little little chewables. So I really love those for getting my vitamin C because they taste good <laughs> and they're food form versus synthetic form. So vitamin C is number one. Now, some people may have some issues with collagen or elastin and, you know, having a supplement that would support that nutrient um, would be a great thing to do. Um, bone broth will do that as well. Bone broth is also very high in minerals, so people like it for many, many reasons, but it's going to help the structure and the integrity of the, um, of the area. Um, I like to use bone broth as well as I make sure I digest my food, I'm chewing my food, I eat a very clean diet. And also I use a product called Agilis that will give me some of the collagen and some of the other nutrients I need to support my structure. So the third thing is for the blood vessels is this, minerals. Minerals, minerals, minerals. They make the world go round. <laughs> so the minerals will um, help support the integrity of the blood vessels. And the top ones are magnesium, potassium, zinc, and copper. 
Now, don't just run out and start taking those supplements because especially if you start taking copper, you can get into some trouble with that. Copper is really important for the integrity of blood vessels. So the best thing would be is to maybe get a multi-min or ensure that your everything you're eating is getting digested. So I prefer betaine HCL, which is you know hydrochloric acid supplement for my, when I eat my meals, and that will help chelate the minerals out of my food so my body can use those things, you know, the minerals. Um, foods that are high in copper and minerals would be nuts and seeds, um, green leafy vegetables, you know, chlorophyll, right? Anything with that would be, you know, have high copper content, spirulina, chlorella, um, barley grass, wheat grass, you know, anything that's like deep green is going to have really high mineral content. Of course, kale and things like that too. So work on that as well. You get those minerals in your body, you're going to find you don't bruise very badly. I mean, I used to bruise horribly and it would take a very long time to heal. And now I have no bruising. When I get very deep body work or I fascia blast, you know, I really believe in the fascia blaster and I just don't, you know, want to have massive bruises. And I don't, I have very little bruising when I do the fascia blaster, but I also do all these other things. So I hope they, I hope that this helps you a lot. Fascia blaster or body work deep or possibly uh, cupping or anything of that nature, or you wipe out, <laughs> you just wipe out and you get up and you're like, whoa, look at this big bruise that develops over a few days. Or, you know, you get kicked by a horse. I'm a horse person and my sister got kicked and it was like this massive monster bruise probably because she got kicked so hard but you know to help this you know these um you know these bruises vitamin c okay it's the first thing collagen elastin you know nutrients and also minerals will help support your body so that you can have very um healthy levels of you know have very healthy levels of those nutrients so that you can um not bruise as bad okay so i hope this helps you if you have any questions head over to jenspringer.com and i will answer them for you just send a little message through that little thing that pops up and then i'll get back to you so